so we wanted this video just dropped. Okay, J Jimmy High Roller. Jimmy High Roller. That's what I'm assuming. Jimmy High Roller is all over for them. I'm gonna assume he's talking about the Warriors and it being over for them. I want to see what he has to say about this, because if it's about the Warriors, um, I think it's time to move out Clay, or or ask you know they're gonna ask him to take a pay cut. He ha he has to take a pay cut. You can't keep him for the same uh, contract, forty three mil. And Draymond Green, Draymond Curry already said he's coming back. So then that means Pool does does. Pool is not cool with Draymond, uh, rightfully so. So, Pool, are you going to choose Draymond over Pool? You know what I'm saying? Because eventually there's going to be conflict, and one of them's going to. I mean, J Jordan Pool is going to end up dipping, you know what I'm saying? Jordan Pool only played, like, average, like, 10 to 20 minutes per playoff game. It's crazy. A max contract player playing 10 to 20 minutes a playoff game. Um,. Is crazy. So I mean, you're gonna you have to do you have to address that for sure, man. I don't know, man. Pull, 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 pull is it pull is fed up. You already know that. Um, and you know I feel like both sides are gonna be fed up if if not already. So we'll see what happens there. It's gonna be an interesting off season. I, I can't wait to see what what the what goes down in the Warriors off season. Let's One get of it. the greatest I like around Curry because they still got a top five, top three to five NBA player in the league. Jesus Christ, that was that. Wow, that was a. T I don't even know what I said. Rivalries right. in NBA history, the worst postseason upset we've ever seen, it's and a man a on a mission to prove yeah. he is the best player on the planet. Yeah, bro, Jokic is, Jokic is, whoa, bro, that man's crazy, man. Now we knew the playoffs would be good, but without fail, the NBA has outdone itself once again because this has been the wildest weirdest and most unpredictable playoffs I've ever yeah. seen. The sponsor of today's video is giving you a free gift in 60 seconds. He's a good friend Shout of mine that co-owns Rona's brand from a Urban Outfitters, Irving Zion, Dart, Grow, Share, the ebook, information, Shout out. Shout out. tools, Shout out the last e-commerce ebook you'll ever need. Shout out. Shout out. Shout and get an in dollar cash zero. Ah, the NBA playoff code on your two screen. Legends are made and others are not. The conference finals yeah. are just getting started and three postseason yeah, coaches. Yeah, bro. Okay. Okay. I am so shocked about Nick Nurse, first of all, getting fired. And Monty Williams getting fired too, bro. I am shocked about that. Budenholzer. Budenholzer. You know, the thing is people forget about Budenholzer was already on the hot seat the year he won the championship. Like, and people were calling him a bad coach even still after they won the championship, for sure. E even, bro, like, and Doc Rivers, rightfully so, man. He has lost way too many big games to stay. So, yeah, bro. Have already been it's, fired, is which crazy? is just more evidence that in corporate America, you can lose your job for other people not doing theirs. Four teams are left standing, yeah. and for some mm -hmm. odd reason, I feel like I've seen this before. I can't put my finger on yeah, I feel b I feel I feel bad for Monty, man. I feel bad for Monty, man. He didn't deserve that, man. But I I mean I think the Bucks are gonna get him, man. I think the Bucks are gonna get him, Ron. Ron, but I swear the bubble. That this the has happened before. Anyways, the 2023 NBA postseason has been wild, it has and been. it all started with the Bucks, uh, not failing by being the not first kidding. one seed in league history to be bounced out of the playoffs in just. Hey, bro, that Giannis shit, bro. What I gotta say about that, man? I agree with what Giannis had to say, bro. Hey, bro. It's the hey, bro. Hey, bro. It's not failure. It's disappointment, man. I, I agree with that, bro. I agree with that. I, I, I would say it's disappointment, man. It's disappointing. It's not a failure, though, bro. I agree. I agree with that 100%. Five games. Taking the title as the worst one-seed playoff team from the, you learn something from every season, the right? 2007 Mavericks, two who won plans. two games against the We Believe Warriors before getting sent home. Yeah. And to think I use numbers to... That Damn, that's bad. To almost pick the Bucks to win it all this season. Talk about dodging a bullet. Instead, I picked the most stress-inducing team in the history of the <laughs> NBA. <laughs> How Celtics fans can watch awesome, this bro. team regress into the Charlotte Bobcats for a game and then look like the dream team in the next is beyond me. For Have real. you ever seen an MVP candidate forget how to play basketball for three and a half quarters? I have, but unfortunately for Sixers fans, they just found out what the rest of us already knew. Yeah. And beat and hard in our ass in the playoffs. They are, bro. They are so bad in the playoffs, bro. They are so bad in the playoffs, bro. They are so not clutch. 
Bro, bro, and then Embiid has the audacity to blame his teammates when this was the stat line, bro. Hold up, hold up. When this was the stat line, this man Embiid has the audacity to freaking call out his teammates when these were... were, were, were. Uh, Harden, Harden, you had nothing to do with this because you didn't say shit, bro. Fuck, why is my internet not loading? Oh my gosh, it's selling my YouTube video. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's selling, it's selling. I don't want it to be like this. Alright, bro, you're gonna sell me? Or we just go to my other we uh, website and uh, search up ESPN.com. How about that? Because we got two of them. Alright. There we go. Alright. Let's go, bro. When this was their stat line, bro, like this is absolutely absurd, bro. Um, scores one was a Sunday, bro. Like, look at this shit, bro. Look at this. Look at their stat line. They, and Harden has the audacity, or I mean, Embiid has the audacity to fucking say that they need their teammates to learn how to step up more, or like along the lines of that, bro. They like they, they Harden and him can't do it alone, basically. Bro, they MB shot five of eighteen, had fifteen points. He had eight rebounds. He had, Harden shot not had, only shot eleven shots. He had nine points. Oh my gosh, bro! Oh my gosh, Maxi had seventeen on twelve shots. Better than Embiid. Better than Harden. <laughs> bro, it, Tobias Harris had nineteen on thirteen, bro. And PJ Tucker had eleven on seven, bro. Like what, bro? Like, come on, bro. You definitely, you're, bro, you're now your bench. Yikes, yikes, But, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, you cannot blame that on your teammates, bro. When you play like that, come on. Anyways, and in the same conference, it. the Heat escape the Knicks and find themselves in the conference finals for the third time in four seasons. That's crazy, bro. The Heat, the Heat are in the conference finals for the third time in four seasons. I think the Celtics are too, if I'm not wrong. It's probably more for them. Yeah, when but it's even crazier because nobody, bro. My when Miami paid Jimmy Butler that contract, uh, contract, people were like, "Why would Jimmy go there, bro? He's not gonna win shit. He's just gonna, he's just gonna miss. He's just going there to get the bag, and he's gonna miss the playoffs every year. He's gonna be, he's just, bro, like all that shit, bro. And bro, yeah, look now where they're at now, bro. They're more successful than a lot of other, all these other teams, bro, in the East. A lot of these other teams, man. The most awesome, mediocre, great team I've ever seen in my life. And as much as Jimmy Butler has done for this group, we need to give Eric Spolstra his flowers. He has now coached the Heat to seven conference finals over the last 13 crazy, seasons, bro. which means Eric Spolstra has more conference finals appearances since 2011 than every single one of these teams have in the history of their wow. franchise. Wow, bro, Me Spolstra is really him. And he doesn't have a coach of the year, bro. Meanwhile, over in the West, the Phoenix Suns fulfilled... That's crazy that he doesn't have one coach of the year, bro. That's crazy. He should have one. Their annual duty of exiting the playoffs in horrific fashion. Oh, God, and bro. And the Suns playoff series they without the worst a historic playoffs. run by an opposing oh, player? Ever. Because Nikola Jokic just put together one of the greatest playoff series in NBA history. In the six games against the Suns, Jokic averaged 35 points, huh. 13 rebounds, and 10 assists per game on 60% That's shooting. Insane. The man put up 24, 19, and 5 in game one, and it was easily his worst game of the entire series. That's insane, in fact, bro. here are the top 100 players of the playoffs this season in terms of box plus minus. At literally the very bottom. <laughs> you got Jordan Poole. Um, Clay, Clay on the team it's crazy bad you have uh <laughs> yeah. yeah we don't talk about that yet yeah climb this chart yeah. and you'll find some <laughs> underwhelming players so far in the postseason like jordan yeah. Poole at negative 3.3 clay yeah. thompson with a bpm of negative 2.7 yeah. and bam out of bayou keep climbing and you'll find some solid contributors like austin reeves malcolm brogdon okay. and caleb martin and to find the best players of the 2023 postseason, we have to go all the way up this chart. Jimmy, AD, chart to players like Anthony Davis and Stephen Curry. Mm -hmm. But in a class of their own is Jimmy Butler, Anthony Edwards, yeah. and Devin Booker. Damn. Who all have postseason BPMs near or above double digits. Now, having a double digit BPM in the playoffs is phenomenal. We're talking MVP caliber runs here. And then there's Nikola Jokic. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jokic, bro, he might actually be up there, bro, in the league, bro. He might actually be up there, bro. He might actually be him, bro. He might actually be the best player in the NBA. I don't know, bro. We'll see after that at the end of this place, uh, this playoff run. We'll see. Who is I hope it, do it doesn't become like that. I hope Anthony Davis is the one, you know, that's called the best NBA player. Treating the NBA playoffs like uh, it's the summer league. But... So it turns out you cannot win an NBA championship with two players after all. And it really was a two-player effort by the Suns since Devin Booker and Kevin Durant combined for the most points per game by two players in a playoff run in over 60 years. Holy just the shit balls, bro. That just shows how good Jokic is, bro. Two of them made up for over half of the Suns total points in the postseason. The bro. perfect recipe for a second round exit. But scoring is something that the best players in today's yeah, NBA yeah, like... have mastered because the 2023 NBA playoffs featured seven of the top 10 playoff scores in modern NBA history. Yeah, no matter bro. how you is it, bro. There's so much more scoring going on nowadays, bro. There's, uh, there's a brother game. The game is so fast. It's so fun to watch, bro. And, uh, you know, shout out, man. Slice it. Whoever wins the title this season will have to go through multiple generational talents. And in a second round series that feels like the damn NBA Finals, the Lakers mm. defeated the Warriors in six games possibly ending one of the greatest dynasties the league has ever seen possibly, and yeah. as much as steph has truly carried the offensive load for this team the one thing he can't seem to do is knock down a game winning shot because after the playoff exit this season curry is now zero for 12 on go-ahead shots with 45 seconds or less yikes did he how many do you have this year he had two in game four I know he did because he missed the first one and he missed it. Yeah. Yikes. When was his last first? I'm going to have to watch all these clips later. Jesus Christ. That's actually insane. Less in the game. The great. A couple of them are with. Like a solid amount of them are with KD too. Like one, two, three, four of them are with KD. You think that would be easier for you because you're not attracting the second one? It is shooter of all time. And yet. He okay. This one wasn't with KD. Game six is with Rat. So get three of these for KD. He has struggled his entire career to hit the biggest shots. Bringing truth to the words that a wise man once told me. I want Iguadala. But this loss from the Warriors truly marks the end of an era. In the nine seasons that Steve Kerr has been the head coach of the Warriors, the team has never lost a series to another Western Conference team. A fact that sounds like I just made it up, but I didn't. Wait, there has been yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. They never a have. A fact that this sounds like I just time. made it up, but I did it. It's Starting crazy. with Kerr's first season as the Warriors head coach in 2015, he began his tenure with a bang, winning a yeah, championship. Kerr, Kerr, yeah, Kerr has not... Lost to Western Conference. The Lakers are the first team to do it, bro. And then they lost Rookie to the Cavs game. in the finals. And then they won back-to-back -back titles. Lost to the Raptors in the finals. Missed the playoffs for two seasons. And then beat the Celtics in the finals. Mm -hmm. The irony of this dynasty possibly ending at the hands of LeBron James, <laughs> of all <laughs> people, so only adds another layer to the long and illustrious rivalry that he has with Steph Curry. <laughs> a rivalry that spans nearly a decade and has featured 28 playoff games despite them being in different conferences for the vast yeah. majority of their careers. A, for ref yeah, that was the first time being in the same conference in the playoffs. Chris Paul and Steph have been in the same conference for 15 seasons, and they've only faced each other in 18 playoff games. Russell Westbrook and Steph have been in the same conference for virtually their entire careers, and they've only faced off in seven playoff games. But if that's not that's crazy, crazy enough, crazy. LeBron James spent 15... Yeah, it was, it was only 2015, huh, when uh, Kevin Durant and uh, they sold that 3 one <laughs> Teen seasons in the Eastern Conference. The three teams he's faced the most in the playoffs throughout his career are the Celtics, the Pacers, and the Warriors, a rivalry that has been wow. cemented in NBA history. But it is a rivalry. LeBron versus Warriors, whatever team. <laughs> in their most recent series, we cannot discount the efforts of Anthony Davis. The only player I've ever For seen real. in my life who can go from looking like Anthony Bennett to a prime Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> in the span of 48 hours. That's fast. Yeah, <laughs> play so off weird. AD, let's go. Oh, he sucks. Oh, wait, he's amazing. Never mind. Oh, he's back. No, he's not. He's literally <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain. I hate him. No, I don't. Anthony Davis's inconsistency should be studied in a lab. He's and so does LeBron. Bro, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I don't understand it. I don't understand AD, bro. 
Ain't no way. Bonds playoff scoring, which brings us to our annual breakdown of the most unbreakable record in all of basketball. This season, LeBron surpassed Kareem as the NBA's all-time leading scorer, but his position as the all-time leading playoff scorer has been the top spot since 2017. Jesus. And since then, LeBron has been piling that's up never, his career. That's never going to get touched if he broke in 2017. That's never getting touched, bro. playoff point total, bringing him to his current record of 7,912 career playoff points. And when looking at active players and who might have a shot at catching him, the answer is... None of them. Nobody's catching him ever, bro, in that aspect. Nobody's ever going to catch him. And the answer will always be none of them. LeBron is a playoff anomaly, but he has his work cut out for him on his path to winning another ring because the 2023 playoffs have been historic, unpredictable, stressful, and better than we could have imagined. Oh, yeah, bro. These NBA playoffs have been Rack, bro, they've been so good, bro. So many good games. Shout out to Jimmy High Roller, bro. Shout out to you, man, for that WS video, man. Um, bro, but these playoffs have been so much, so much fun to watch, and I cannot wait to see what happens. I, I literally can't wait. I need to know what happens. I need to know what happens, bro. I do not want to see. I do not. I do not not want to know, bro. I need to know, bro, now, soon, ASAP, bro. Um. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching this video. Um. Give me a uh, high roller. Thank you, man. For thank you, man. For another W video, you always make classics. Uh, peace out, y'all.